Welcome to the reading of the Sabbath School lesson for the second quarter of 2022. Welcome to lesson number eight in the series on Genesis. It's titled The Promise, ready for teaching on May 21, and I'm Percy Harold. Sabbath afternoon, May 14. Before we start, let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that there's the story here in the book of Genesis about the life and then the death of Abraham. But during this story of his life, we see the fulfillment of the promise that you made with him. And as we study that this week, we pray that you will bless us, whether we're listening in Bakersfield, California, or Cardiff, Wales, or Petersburg in South Africa, or Bulawayo in Zimbabwe, or Busan in South Korea, or Florianopolis in Brazil, or Wollongong in Australia, or Suva in Fiji, or Honolulu in Hawaii, wherever we are, Lord, in the room or the place we're listening right now, I pray that each of us may be blessed and that your Holy Spirit will guide us as we open your word, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Our memory text today is Genesis 24 and verse 1. Now Abraham was old, well advanced in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. Let's read that again, Genesis 24 verse 1. Now Abraham was old, well advanced in age, and the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. Finally, as God had promised, Sarah bore Abraham a son in his old age, as we read in Genesis 21, verse 2. For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And he named the baby Isaac. Let's read that story in Genesis 21, verses 1 to 5. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah as he had spoken. For Sarah conceived and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son who was born to him, whom Sarah bore to him, Isaac. Then Abraham circumcised his son Isaac when he was eight days old, as God had commanded him. Now Abraham was one hundred years old when his son Isaac was born to him. But the story of Abraham is far from over, reaching a climactic moment when he took his son to Mount Moriah to be sacrificed. Isaac, however, is replaced by a ram, as you read in Genesis 22, verse 13. Then Abraham lifted his eyes and looked, and there behind him was a ram caught in a thicket by its horns. So Abraham went and took the ram and offered it up for a burnt offering instead of his son which signified God's commitment to bless the nations through his seed, as you read in verses 17 and 18. Blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply your descendants as the stars of the heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore, and your descendants shall possess the gate of their enemies. In your seed all the nations of the earth shall be blessed, because you have obeyed my voice. That seed, of course, was Jesus, as you read about in Acts chapter 13 and verse 23. From this man's seed, according to the promise, God raised up for Israel a Saviour, Jesus. Hence, in this astonishing and in some ways troubling story, more of the plan of salvation is revealed. Whatever the spiritual lessons here, the family of Abraham nevertheless must have been shaken by it and the future of Abraham is not clear. Sarah dies after the sacrifice at Moriah in Genesis 23 and Isaac remains single. Abraham then takes the initiative to make sure that the right future will follow him. He arranges the marriage of his son to Rebekah in Genesis 24, who will give birth to two sons, as you read in Genesis 25, verses 21 to 23, which we'll see in a later part of the lesson. And Abraham himself marries Keturah who will give him many children, as you read in Genesis 25, verses 1 to 6. Abraham again took a wife, and her name was Keturah, and she bore him Zimran, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan begat Sheba and Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Asherim, 
letters him and Lumimim, and the sons of Midian were Ephah, Ephah, Hanok, Abida, and Eldar. All these were the children of Keturah. And Abraham gave all that he had to Isaac. But Abraham gave gifts to the sons of the concubines which Abraham had. And while he was still living, he sent them eastward away from Isaac his son to the country of the east. This week, we will follow Abraham to the end of his life. In Genesis 25, verses 7 to 11, this is the sum of the years of Abraham's life which he lived, 175 years. Then Abraham breathed his last and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and he was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah, which is before Mamre, in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite the field which Abraham purchased from the sons of Heth. There Abraham was buried, and Sarah his wife, and it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelt at Beer Lahai Roy. This lesson was read by Dr. Percy Harold for Christian Services for the Blind. Sponsored by the Sabbath School Department and distributed through Hope Channel Australia, this podcast is also redistributed by Hope Channel Germany, Christian Record Services for the Blind, and It Is Written. It is also available on SoundCloud and through multiple podcast distributors, including Apple iTunes. Remember, God is always faithful.